okay so have you already upgraded your apps guys because warobots has uh, given the 6.3 update you know and i have upgraded up updated my app from play store because i'm the android user and guys check if ios update has rolled or maybe it can roll up a little bit later but you know android platform it uh, rolls the first so that's why in, in the community everywhere you can see that the, they have posted and so from that i checked it and, and here you can see that there are many many other stuff and and you cannot you can't see the themes but uh, from tomorrow on tomorrow to the new things are gonna be implemented from 9 a.m utc the russian time so you know just see that 9 a.m russia is what time on your region the updates are rolled everything is on the live server they are just gonna implement it from tomorrow so you need to check it out and so that's why you can see that none of the changes can be seen now like for example if i see the storms the damage is same like here you can see that old and new damage are same and scourge everything damage are same so here and now they have put a new button new home button which helps you to get to the center easily like this for example you press this and you want to change the weapon and you change your weapon you may equip it the upper right corner there is a home button so we cannot see the home button now maybe from tomorrow we can see it and guys no one will tell you what's the exact number it's the they have said that it's 15 percent 20 percent nerf 5 percent buff 10 percent buff but i have calculated the things for you so you can check the exact numbers and you get a real feel of that number because you know something percentage minus or some percentage plus doesn't give you the original idea so in my video if you have come to check it so it's gonna be very useful so let's head on to that part okay so let's let us choose stick with my video okay so this upgrade 6.3 and we have the main feature drones guys and let's see the drones will roll tomorrow on 9 a.m utc okay so let's stick around and now let's see what are the main things and the rebellions buff nerf everything what they have done so let's check it in very less time and so here ravana durability you can see that they have decreased the durability because it was as a huge tank and it was also a damage dealer so tank and damage dealer in one single bot hybrid it doesn't work so they nerf the durability by 10 percent but that is not that much effective and so they have nerf dura ability duration one second that means you trigger ability and the transcendence that stays for two seconds earlier it used to stay for one second now ability cooldown 14 to 15 so they have increased so the number of times you transcend that reload reload will really be a very big difference and especially in the modes like free for all or team death match okay guys so the main thing which is important here is deaf survivor skill okay clever survivor skills deaf survivor skills and her earn of po absolutely important because you get the two transcends and you get only two seconds invulnerability and if you use phase shift and you play beacon rush so the phase shift has also changed and phase robots cannot capture beacons and here storm particle per shot eight to six that seems like a 25 percent nerf but it's they have they're telling that it's 15 percent nerf so let's see how everything works and tomorrow we, we, we can again see that what are the changes they have made and next part which is done is a sharpshooter pilot skill guys t1 it's 15 percent t2 it's it was 15 percent in t1 so they have reduced it to 10 percent and it's, it's about pilot skill the pilot skill the pilot skill rework where you spend gold and upgrade the tier so if you upgraded to tier 4 earlier you had 37.5 percent short grouping guys so now you get 25 percent and they have a little bit nerfed it okay so it's like you know it's like 37 minus 25 okay it's like 12 percent nerf it seems in the surface but let's see what things you can expect in the live server and tier 3 it's like 30 to 20 percent means 10 percent nerf here 22 to 15 also seems like 12 percent nerf here 15 to 10 percent tier 1 it's 5 percent nerf so let's see what things they've done okay and now wayland guys if you have waylands you play team death match i have seen many guys play so it's very good news for you guys because see they have added 15 percent damage mitigation in repair mode when you stand with your ancils and you don't have any firepower everyone comes to kill you and 
before an ally comes to help you support you you get killed so it's the possibility is less now because you get damage resistance like falcon for example or fenrir for phantom so they have added 15 percent damage in repair mode so when you stand and heal you get that defense mitigation as well so this is a very nice thing and repairs per tick has increased to 15 percent means you get more heal you can heal yourself more and you can heal the allies more and 15 percent heal is very like it's a great buff and mender guys has given, got super severe buff mender starts repairing immediately it's not the two seconds lag after that the buff starts not lag maybe it's like two seconds delay okay and the repair pulses guys it was first when it was the mentor came we know that it was three pulses after that after one buff it got four pulses now it's getting seven pulses movement speed increase from ability 30 percent damage resistance 50 to 70 percent so here you also get that 15 percent resistance now it's 70 percent resistance so it's as good as you know ravana leech not ravana it's good as bleeds leech or and now here mentor but let's see and and because it has the seven heal pulses it can easily counter hawk and there is a super super it's like 60 70 percent possibility that tomorrow's operation pass may have mentor as a special prize may have mentor because it's getting a huge buff and now here the next one that's different it may also not be because there's always a percentage attached to it and now tier tier repair per tick is 20 percent and 20 percent tier repairs so if you guys using tier and you are healing you love a healer so it's very interesting for you but now the main thing guys eojun gets a little bit of redu reduction minus two seconds ability damage minus 20 percent so the internal flamethrower of the eojun will deal less damage now and leech ability duration minus one second it was minus two seconds now they have reduced it to minus one second so it's good it's not a huge nerf but it's quite a game changing nerf or buff or tweak or rebalance anything you can say every single in a so much fast paced game every single second matters and counts and it completely improves or maybe changes your gameplay okay you have to adjust with the new timings but not for now you can play many matches now from 9 a.m utc tomorrow maybe we can see the changes and now here bleeds so you don't get afraid and don't get suddenly shocked that you upgraded your app but you do not see any changes the changes in the live server would be implemented tomorrow now blitz clive vicious pilot skill blitz damage resistance 90 percent to 80 percent so it's again a little bit of pilot nerf okay the head is retribution damage 15% increase so guys if you use headers then you are in a very good position and durability 15% increase so they first wanted to buff the headers by increasing the range of the internal retribution from 500 meter to 800 meter but now there's it seems like they have retribution damage buff so it's good like atomizer quarker that can work very effective and durability also 15% buff got got a good buff and now fenrir speed in mobile mode plus five percent so they have buff fenrir again and i we cannot understand and we don't know what pixonic is maybe planning you can run fenrir with tarans because taran also got buff and bulwark here you can see bulwark edge is durability five percent bulwark when maxed the the edges shield is really very unbreakable and with the use of fortifiers guys you can easily make bulwark a super you know supporter support bot okay so these buffs seems to be very interesting and now here is the main weapons rebalance hello corona glory damage per particle minus 10 percent and there's viper is damage per particle that seems like 10 percent reduction glacier cryo and rhyme damage per rockets minus 20 percent let's targeting issues fixed so you know it's like targeting issues means the splash damage the splash damage radius was reduced and now the splash damage radius has been increased okay the spark scourge and calamities damage per tick it died down to minus 15 percent and ammo is minus 50 percent less so it will deal less damage as compared to other one but in ultra close range it will still perform nice and avenger damage per particle it's minus 20 percent they plan to down nerf it by minus 20 percent but now they have added plus five percent that means they are not nerfing avenger so much badly it's like minus 15 percent damage reduction with the use of overdrive units maybe you get the same damage again 
because overdrive units guys many are win just try to get and you try to get it try to level it up so you will get the same damage as before so no problem with that and sting damage per party is plus five plus ten percent and corrosion damage ten percent because sting no one used no one used sting wasp guys many use the viper but never used a sting and wasp so a great possibility is coming mid-range mender with sting and wasp we don't know let's see what meta runs into what the champion league guys will start using and will i if ever use a sting and wasp for major let's see it everything depends upon many things like rewards in the event chest or maybe operations which will come so everything depends upon that and what's the views for the world community people so let's see which thing gets used the most number of times and here wasp interval 0 0.85 to 0 0.5 it's like very uh, severe buff and mo 5 to 12 so you can see maybe the test server that if you haven't checked so you can check my channel and test server video as well and here ammo 12 to 16 so it's again a huge buff like five or six percent buff it seems and arbalest balance distribution damage per charge 10 percent so they have again buffing the long range sniper weapons and ion damage per shot 10 percent so we can see ion leech maybe mid rangers we can see specter ions also let's see what comes redeemer now pairs better with Theron. ammo 21 to 32 increase the ammo because first it used to hit like three shots now it will hit like four shots like Theron's. like boom 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 it's like four shots Okay. and now particles per burst 3 to 4 so you can see and damage per particle minus 45 percent so it's like half nerf half damage nerf but because of the part because the thing has got extra buff like four bursts and ammo has increased to 32 it says like that it will deal still more damage let's see now taran damage per particle five percent so it is also a interesting buff ember igniter and blitz gets usability tweaks damage per second five percent quarker atomizer nucleon targeting issues fixed means accuracy has been increased pulsar targeting issues again fixed so pulsar stands out pulsar is not getting any nerf and buff so if you have a pulsars you can run it on leech maybe and on many other setups but 4x pulsars are very interesting and devastating and so let's see what comes and now what i was telling about the new button in equipment there's now a button that returns you directly to hangar it saves you three taps so for example you tap on a bot then you tap on a weapon then you tap on a weapon again to change it so it's like three taps so it saves you three steps on the upper right corner you can get a home button and maybe in the test server you saw home button okay the premium button relocated to the left side of the hangar menu so the hangar menu where you get the workshop the daily task the black market the offers that that zone so the vip button has has been moved to that part so fix the tar and the next one fix the targeting issue causing pulsars Quark or atomizer nucleon and cryogenic rockets to lose effectiveness against moving targets so they have fixed that you know there was a bug there was many buffs so they are fixing those buffs it's a very nice thing to have and now here fixed an issue which causing uh, is a powder skill not to work properly in certain situations so that 70 percent damage seemed to disappear but now if you have isabella powder and using that so you, so you, it will work now properly okay minor adjustments to certain items in gold costs workshop plus atomizer so this is the secret guys free to play players will get a huge benefit and here you can see atomizer balsari cryo dragoon ember glacier he mender nucleon quark or redeemer rhyme and well and production speed up for gold got slightly cheaper guys so if you i want to speed up so it got like 350 it's it, it has got slightly ch cheaper like maybe 300 let's see this is a very nice thing done by Pixonic. Thanks for that. And improved performance on certain devices, guys. Many of the devices 
old devices it is if it is to lag on your device so this is the new secret and new new stuff which i wanted to share so they have added these two features and the main thing is that i was really telling them guys i was really telling them to buff the workshop a little bit and improve performance because it's lagged so it seems like they are making room for the remastered and they are fixing many types of device related lags so it was up to that and maybe on the next video guys i will make full list on everything every stuff so you're getting like 15 percent so what what will be 15 percent what will be 10 percent everything i will upload it on the next video so please subscribe to my channel and like this video and share this video with your friends and community and your clan mates so they can also get a glimpse of all the rebalance changes thank you guys for watching i appreciate and i will meet you in the next video with more details about this rebalance and everything will be on numbers and not percentages so you can see everything so 50 to 70 percent so what how, how and what exactly the damage or the nerf and buff what what exactly will be the numbers so i'll upload it soon thanks for watching guys signing off war merita